Hey guys, it's Nicholas here from UpgradeToLife.com and welcome to this new quote of the week video. So this week's quote will be a little bit longer, but it carries within itself pure wisdom, pure truth, pure, you know, uh, deep teachings about the law of assumption, Neville's teachings. So you will enjoy it. And without any delay, let's just jump right into this quote. So the quote is about, you do not need to work out anything. The works are finished. The principle by which all things are made and without which there is not anything made that is made is eternal. You are this principle. Your awareness of being is this everlasting law. You have never expressed anything that you are not aware of being and you never will. Assume the consciousness of that which you desire to express. Claim it until it becomes a natural manifestation. Feel it and live within that feeling until you make it your nature. So let's just talk about this, right? This is super, super relevant, super, super powerful. So I have many, you know, uh, videos on my channel. And I think also in last week's quote, I spoke about that you do not have to lift your finger, right? That, you know, it's not your responsibility to work out any ways and, and you know, how things will come to pass. So you do not need to work out anything. And I want you to relax in this knowing for a second. I'm sure you, you watch those videos, you hear it, um, people saying to you that, you know, it's not your job to worry about the how and all of this stuff. But I want you to really let it sink in right now as we speak. Relax in this knowing that, whoa, whoa, I don't have to, you know, work out anything. Everything that I want, everything that I can think of, everything that I can imagine, everything that can be created already has been created. So how can there be lack? How can I feel like not complete? How can I feel that there's lacking something from existence? I only can feel that way if I'm if I limit myself to what my senses show me, to what is there currently and present within my awareness, but if you if you take it up a notch and you realize, wow, there is more, it's not all manifested, obviously not, but there is way more within within yourself, within your imagination that is still available, only because it is not manifested doesn't mean that it is not real yet, um, you become more expansive, you become more free and realize, wow, creation is finished. How, how amazing is that? That I don't have to work out any ways and find out strategies. Right, so this is the first sentence and this is already powerful. Because the works are finished, right? The principle by which all things are made and without which there is not anything made that is made is eternal, right? So the, the whole uh, like principle and, and your awareness, like the, the, this is eternal stuff that we're talking right here. You know, this, like those principles, those law, laws um, and the law of assumption this will work for you right now this will be you know true for you right now this was true for you and has worked for you five years ago and it will also work for you and be relevant for you 10 years from now because it is eternal right everything has already been done and you basically shift just within that within that creation basically you move within consciousness you move within god you move within yourself you know, by placing awareness on this state, then you express this, then you don't like it any longer, then you take your attention away from this state, you place it on this state, then this is how you see the world, this is what you express, but it is all already available, meaning if you make a send castle, then that's great, but in a sense, you didn't really, on a deeper level, you didn't really create it. We say, of course, like you created it because you built it, but actually it was already present, it already existed, and you just place the awareness on that reality or on that part of creation where the Zen castle was like there. That is how it actually works. And this is again really comforting to know because your desires again are not missing. Remember on my last video I talked about that your desires are your hidden identity. Check out the last video because um, yeah this is really true and really powerful. So and then Neville takes it one step further and he, he brings it to the absolute truth which is that you are this principle, right? You are how how life works you, like you you are the upper power you are this principle you determine what you manifest your awareness of being is this everlasting law that we are talking about here right so whatever you are aware of that is what you express right whatever you are conscious of being that is what you express you don't get what you want 
Because if you want something, it means you, you lack it, you don't have it, so you cannot express it. But if you're being conscious of something, of being that thing desired, you are this desired version, you are this wealthy person, you are this healthy person, you are this loved person, you are this famous person, this, you know, adored person, whatever it is if in your case, this successful person, if you are it, then you will get it. But you cannot get it if you are not already it. So your awareness, right, you, I am, you are this everlasting law. And you have never expressed anything that you are not aware of and you never will. So if you, right, if you want to change any circumstances in your life, you have to change the contents of your awareness. You have to change the, the, the state of consciousness, right, the state of awareness. You can also call it, if it's easier for you, your state of mind. But you have to change the inner world um, before you can expect outer changes. So assume the consciousness of that which you desire to express claim it until it becomes natural right claim it until like it becomes a natural manifestation until it becomes a natural state until it takes on the tones of reality and you really start to perceive things from that state you start to respond from that state you start to re have new reactions right your reactions are the number one indicator showing you if you have shifted your state i also have a video on um, your reactions and the number one indicator so check this one out this is absolutely powerful and i always tell this to my clients that if they start the shifting that they should stay aware. This is why having a high level of awareness is so important because then you can notice, okay, how do I react? So Neville also said this about um, when, he, when he talked about the three fundamentals of the law of assumption, it's like self-observation. So you observe yourself that it is like detachment. So you basically detach from the current state and the current you know, uh, reactions you have towards life because they determine in which state you are and you attach it to the desired state. Check out the video I did on the three fundamentals of the law of assumption. Self-observation, definition of aim and detachment. And then when it becomes natural, right? You, you start to like, you, you feel it, you live within that feeling. So you, you carry that with you, you, you remain faithful to that state. The state will start to become so natural that you will start to automatically remain faithful to it without forcing it. And it will be your nature, it will be you, it will be like the new state that you're in. And this is the power behind this, right? But what I like so much is that, um, is that little part here where Neville's basically said that you are this principle, right? You are this power. It is you that determines that, it is you that determines your fate. Not society, not the government, not any external power. You determine your fate, you have the keys in your hand, right? You have the pencil in your hand and you paint on the canvas of life, on the screen of, 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 of space, you, you paint whatever you want to experience. If you are unaware, if you are unconscious, you will perpetuate the current circumstances, you will perpetuate your current story. And this is why things are not going to change that quickly. Why, you know, this is when things are moving slowly, you don't see progress, you feel stuck and lacking and all of this stuff. However, if you absolutely like raise your awareness you become aware you become more expensive it will be way easier for you to shift and to occupy the desired states right but you are the open power and your awareness of being is this law right whatever you you wherever you place your awareness on that is what you occupy that is what you identify with that's the identity you basically are in also right now just look at your life right now it is how it is based on who you are right now so if you want your life to be different change who you are, right? Check out the free masterclass. Link is in the description down below if you want to learn more on how this works and how you can do this for yourself. So this is it for this week's quote. I'm sure that this helped you. I'm sure that you understand what we talked about here, right? So it's an everlasting principle. It is an eternal law that always was true, that always will be true, and you are its operant, operant power. So know what you want and then occupy it. It's already available for you, right? If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below and I look forward to speak with you. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.